hello, how's it going, you know? Um, it's like 11.17 on the, the 9th of uh, December 2021, December 9th. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit high. I ran out of weed yesterday, smoking all weed all day yesterday. But, um, but then today I was like, I was like, let's do the thing where you scrape the pipe. Woohoo, right? So I'm like scraping it, I'm babying it. And like, there's this pipe head that I got a couple weeks ago because I accidentally broke the original one that came with the bong that I have. So I bought another one at the weed store for 10 bucks. And I was poking it through and I don't even notice when this happened, but it like broke a piece off. So there's this big chunk and I was even smoking weed like that. And then I found a screen though and I put it in and let the air go through well, you know, cause the piece was broken off cause it was kind of like too small of a hole. But then today, all I was doing was just tapping it. I was just tapping it, the metal, the glass part like this, just to see if any reefer would fall out or like resin and it just shattered. So I was like, okay, well, so I scraped more everything that I could find in there, you know, and I smoked it. it gave me asthma, obviously, but it got me kind of high. I got one more helping of high <laughs> today. So I think I did like two hours. So that was between my first two hours. Maybe I did, yeah. And now I'm after my two hours. So about to get started on my third. So I ride in out blocks of hour. Um, It'll be, it'll be really functionable that way in the future when I work, plug it into my website because if every single time I ride it's exactly one hour, I can gauge my improvement, you know, because I just assume that every time I ride, every one of those hours I'm going, I'm fresh and I'm going as hard as I can. It's like a time trial, so I see how I'm getting stronger. And I am, you know, I'm getting stronger. I mean, it's only my sixth day riding, but, um, like... I was doing like 13, 14 miles in an hour. And now I'm up to like 18, you know, so. I just hit start and then I put this screen down and I don't look at it, look at the watts or the time. And then when I think like close to an hour has gone by, I pick it up and look at it. Normally it's like 36, 39, 45. But this time I looked at it, it was 101. It was the first time over an hour. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll stop. I'm doing my bike rides with Strava, but uh, with my Garmin, but also um, separately with my Yahoo trainer, Wahoo trainer, smart trainer with um, Swift. So I'm recording it two ways with two different uh, testers of wattage. So I'm curious to see how close they are. I think they weren't that close yesterday. I was looking and it looked like Zwift said 131 watt average and then Strava was like 100. Garmin, so, anyway, um, I think I've, I think I've got it figured out this time, you know, I've been, I've been, I've, I've got, I've been trying to, you know, get back into shape since I was like 10 years old, you know, trying to figure out the formula, you know, and as of late, I tried it in, um, dis, and, 2017, 2020, 21, this summer, earlier this year. But now, the end of 2021, I think I have it figured out. I think I figured out the formula. So, the formula is to have the rest of your life squared away. And um, in terms of money is one thing. And I think I'm all right with that. Um, just ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. Um, um, uh, for goos, because I ran out of goo yesterday, and I need the goo, you know. I live off of goo and um, electrolyte um, powder, so. And I'm gonna run out of electrolyte powder like today, so. I went on Amazon and bought four packets of goo. I guess I'll be here tomorrow. That's the beauty of living here. Stuff comes so quick, so. So that's cool. Maybe tomorrow morning or tonight. I guess tomorrow morning I'll have to drive in, ride my bike over to the store and just buy my own little packets of goos just for tomorrow until the 
until it comes in the mail. It's how reliant I am on it. <coughs> and maybe like drink a couple of energy drinks instead of the, um, it's called uh, hydro. Can never think, can never think of the words. Uh, anyway, yeah, so they're kind of expensive, but um, I got it on the recurring on Amazon. So I'm, I'm, I guess in a month I get two more, so or four more, so. If I ride all the time, you know, I'll be going, I'll be eating like one of those a day, you know, they're like 15, but then I won't really be eating much ap apart from that. Um, and then the packets are like a dollar per packet and it's a packet of water bottle of the uh, rehydration um, um, packets, um, uh, electrolyte. There's also the kind we can get that's like Gatorade, just sugar based, but I don't think I'll need that, um, but I might experiment with it later, but I didn't buy it this time. Um, so, um, but yeah, I think I have it all figured out, like um, the formula, you know, um, as far as, you know, life squared away, I think, you know, money luckily, and uh, for now. And, uh, you know, I'm better off with the money the more inside I stay, you know, and the less stuff I do. Um, and that make sure that there's a budget for uh, replacing bike parts and stuff. But, uh, but uh, anyway, um, but apart from that, um, like your life, you know, being able to concentrate. And for me anyway, um, convince myself that it's a valuable a valid job, so to speak. Um, I think it makes me a little bit more worthy being older because as you get older, um, the numbers of like dedicated athletes drop off heavily because people kind of get bored with it or they like develop too many like injuries or whatever, or maybe they, they, um, just get too many other um, responsibilities or whatever. So to be one of the rare, more rare, older people who are into it, I think it is cool. But, um, but also um, the fact that I have all of my, uh, uh, my, whole, my own side gig going, you know, apart from it, it's actually really um, in tune with what I'm doing, you know. So they rely on each other. But I was looking on, because I was take, as I was taking my break today, um, it, this is the first break I took that's not a smoke break. Um, the one I did this morning was like scraping resin. And then, it, so then the last time I wrote, I had asthma. But I was looking at um, Google Earth and... Um, uh, the thing I was working on before I started writing suddenly, you know, like less than a week ago, I think today's day six. Um, I was Google earthing um, ancient Roman baths of uh, Grippa. And I was looking at it just now, and like just like once I get into the rhythm of working on it, and I was like, because what I was, what I need is a formula where the amount of work. Oh, and I'm going to call my mom. I keep meaning to call my mom to ask her how many hours a day is acceptable for me to work on my site. Because if I work, because because if whatever hour she gives me, it's in line with what I think is is good, then, then I'm home free, you know. Because, like, if I did, like, two hours, two good hours, you know, two or three good hours a day that I sneak in, like, at some, I get into a rhythm, like, at the end of the day instead of falling right asleep, just on days where I have extra energy, you know? Just I'll lay there until I get to sleep and work for like two or three hours, but if I just do that and I do surface level stuff, um, just basically 30,000 foot view of my site and just like, oh, let's tune this, let's tune that. I could actually um, convince myself that I feel like I have like a side gig, you know, like a job, a valid job, you know? Like apart from the money, like, something that makes me feel like I'm, uh, I deserve to spend all that time riding my bike, you know, so, but anyways, I think I was looking at 
as of a grip it in. And I was like, oh yeah, if I do like two hours of this, that'll satisfy me, you know? So anyways, that's the formula that I think I figured out that I was talking about. I think I figured out the formula. Um, and I'm, I'm in my mind and um, also all of this uh, technology, oh my God, you know? Um, I'm listening to music. The last time I did the ride, I listened to all these different mi remixes of the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy intro theme. <laughs> it's like my bicycling theme now. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, um, so I haven't even gotten around to watching like you know movies or tutorials or anything. I I'm watching the uh, I guess 1999 World Championships. I'll watch like an entire world championship cycling and then I'll just let it, whatever channel I'm on, and then I'll just let it run to the next race and I just watch them while I listen to stuff. So <laughs> I think I can kind of feel myself getting a little bit hungry. I don't have goo today. So it's kind of like a different day. Maybe I won't be able to do as much. Oh, I forgot to say I rode 91 miles yesterday. I think it was over six hours, six different rides. So I would like get up and do one in the morning and then take an hour and off, do another one throughout the day. And I managed to squeeze in six, six rides. And so it was a total of 91 miles. And so, so maybe I could do a hundred miles today or, or if not, you know, cause I'm not wasting my time with, um, cause I spent a lot of time scraping the pipe and smoking it, you know, and then being slow with the asthma, like, you know, maybe I could do an, a hundred miles tomorrow or whatever. But, but like, um, I think I'm in the long, the long haul, you know, because my my enemy was always relapse on the little website. Um, that's the, and so the only thing I need to worry about is I figure out a way to not relapse on the website. And um, the only way that that was going to happen was if I just got my website to a high enough level. And I think that it is. And, and, and oddly enough, that my definition of getting my website to a high enough level of development isn't like what you might think, like polishing what I have, like writing explanations of what I built or like fixing links or whatever. But um, my idea of getting my website to the highest level is like have enough projects started, <laughs> I guess, you know, not even worrying about anything being done. So. It's kind of a different way of looking at it, but you know, I'm on the long, on long haul. So, anyways, that's enough talking. Um, um, yeah, I didn't. I kind of had insomnia last night too, but it didn't really matter because um, I was just so relaxed. You know, I was so tired. I wasn't as tired yesterday as the days before. Like the more tired I am, the easier it is for me to just lay there. But, you know, I was relaxed enough, and I got up, looked at the watch. It was like 5.30. I got up and spent it for forever having a big breakfast, and uh, it was, like, bigger than yesterday, you know. It was, like, tomato soup, yeah, veggie burger for the first time, um, banana, protein drink. That's all I can think of. Maybe a bowl of it, veggies, so, yeah. Anyways, enough talking. I'm going to get back to writing. It's like I died and went to heaven. It's so much fun. Yeah, feeling myself getting a little bit stronger, so I'll talk to you tomorrow.